Hello everyone, today I will be working on the nicest Sony TCK890ES, alright? So this deck uh, technically don't have big issues, had in a good shape, everything works almost. And it was serviced quite recently, last year. Uh, it calibrates for me, alright? So here is a rec level bias. See, calibrates fine, almost as the center. So all values. I have heard that it sounds well. The complaint from the owner is that uh, this deck distorts during rec recording. Okay, that's where we will be looking into. So now let me open it. And let's see, let's measure, let's see what's maybe wrong with this deck. See you soon. Well, guys, here I'm recording 400 gears at zero levels. And THD on type 2 is above the roof. So, see, it's third harmonics at minus 30 decibel. And it even that doesn't measure. So, that's the source. 0 0.25, 0 0.2%. That's the tape, it's above 4%. All right, so I can easily understand owner. Same here, the right channel. Source 0.16%. Right, and on type one, it it's technically works fine. So let me show you. Here is type 1, let's calibrate it. Okay, that's type 1. So that's the source on the right, 0 0.16. Recorded elevated, it's 1.16. It's on the edge of uh, what I would consider as a good Okay, so if, if it will go more, this would be bad. And you see it's minus 40 decibel. Usually third harmonic should be at minus 60. Then it's like 0.6% and it's considered good. Okay, let's see metal tape. PDKMA. Okay, calibrated. And owner says that the deck was working good. After he got it, he, it started to behave like that after four or five months. Or so, and here is the source. I right, Evan, Evan, you see on metal tape, 2.5% is way too much. So we have an issue. And we need to find it. So where is the distortion comes from? If I will add bias, I significantly add it and distortion almost don't change. 1.6 from 1.9, all right? And if I reduce bias, you see it goes almost to 4%. Oh yeah, let me see. Uh, this, uh, Equalizers which don't change much, as you may see. All right, so we have a problem. My understanding from my experience, I have seen capacitors in the record amplifier go bad. I have heard the sound from this deck. My guess is original. It's not recapped. All right, so let's open and check my theory because everything I have heard, I believe this one is original. This has minor issues here, minor issue here. Everything else looks to be fine. All right, let's open and see what's inside. Here, I guess, I removed the top cover and as you may see, all capacitors are original. All right. But uh, 
when we get distortion there may be problem not with uh, audio capacitors but uh, surrounding capacitors on the power chain of the record amplifier so i believe it's time to replace all of them in the record amplifier as well okay and i will replace those in the playback amplifier like I, I don't like it to repeat again right so if those are failing the those in the playback will be failing quite soon all right let me remove the board and that's working now here guys i'm in the process of recapping this board and i've got a question on youtube where i'm getting capacitors so i'm getting them like that it's uh, the last chance to buy them so i buy whenever i can and uh, in many cases it's now limited to really huge quantities because this capacitor is not produced anymore right so the only ones we can buy that's the everything we have left and this means that uh, quite soon we would need to to look for different capacitors which will be not niche con unfortunately all right so see you soon hey guys i just completed recapping as you may see I recapped quite a few capacitors for power supply installed UKT series, the blue ones. And for the sound capacitors, I've installed the Nichicon Fine Gold. So let's turn it on and experience the moment of truth. So, what THD we will get. Let me connect everything and I see you in a moment. Okay, guys, here I will do a demo. So, recapping did help, but not fully. So, after recapping, uh, distortion reduced by maybe twice, right? Uh, so, now I will demonstrate to you all range in the middle of settings, all right? So the problem was improper tuning. So this deck was not tuned properly and as a result it was doing a bad job. Okay, now source tape. So levels, source tape, source tape. All right, all range, 15 kilohertz plus one decibel. Let's, let me show, that's the proper. For type one, so source tape plus half decibel. Okay, different spots of the tape may be a little bit different. All right, that's how it records. Pretty flat, to 16, 17 kilohertz, and then slowly drops. And that's the THD right channel here, 0.7 percent. The left channel, 0.9 percent a little bit more because bias may be set a little bit different between left and right channel and that's pretty fine values everything below one percent is pretty acceptable next chrome tape the most problematic one right technical type 2 tape we had an issue recording you see the recording levels now thd left channel 0.8 right here okay where is my cursor you may see and right channel i requested so it was source here is a tape 0 0.9 0 0.7 okay cool right let me show you how we're recording minus 20 up to 20 kilogears pretty flat i may zoom in so you may see good results all right and metal tape so and this i i didn't calibrate i didn't move anything on the front panel now it's 
The only this we would need to move a little bit bias because this tape is more sensitive. Then Sony tape, so I'll switch into the tape. All right, uh, right channel 1%, left channel 0.7% on metal. Pretty good results. And you see level is one decibel lower on the response. Uh, but on 15 kilogears, oh, sorry, <laughs> it was on zero level. On 15 kilogears, it will be higher. So we'll see. On 400 gears, it's one decibel lower than the source. Let me show you. So, source, tape. Okay. And on 15 kilogears, it's uh, two decibel higher. And now I can use a bias on the front panel, add bias, and get to the proper level. And I can add level on the front panel to match source and tape. Source tape, 15 kilogears, going through the full range, it keeps very fine, 400 gears, source tape, you see? And now we will see the same nice chart to, I believe, 23 kilogears. Okay. Very good results, very nice deck. And that's how much bias I had to add. It points to three o'clock now. I have turned trying to add bias to compensate for this tape. All right, let's see calibration. Calibration is off as well. Oops, we run out of tape. <sighs> we need to adjust hundred gears and fifteen kilogears. That's the pre proper value. Now, now it's properly set. All levels, you see, we're recording. Recording really nice. Source, you see, it goes far beyond. I can switch to 40 kilogears scale, and it goes beyond 40 kilogears. And tape, 22, 24 kilogears, pretty nice. Now it will record really well on all tape types. So now I will assemble it and it should be good. Thanks for your time. See you and bye bye. And it would be a small bonus. So I'm recording minus 20. And you may see distortions goes to minus 100 decibel on the third harmonic and on zero level. It will go to minus 45. All right, that's where we're getting this 1% THD. So let me switch to the tape. So 1% and 0.8% on 1 kilogears and 1% on 400 gears. Same here 0 0.7 and 0 0.5 on 1000 really cool and it's metal tape okay yeah at zero level one kilogears we have third harmonic at minus 47 that's about approximately here minus 45 and minus 47 all right looks good